Hi, I'm Chris and I have a problem. I break my glasses nearly as often as I change my underwear. If you know that problem as well, you will have noticed that this habit can be quite costly. And usually you don't only have to get a new frame, but you also need a set of new lenses as well. Depending on a brand of frame and glasses your optician talks you into, that whole package will rip a 200 to 400 bucks sized hole right in your wallet. In light of my latest mishap, I thought about a little more economical solution for my excessive use of glasses. During the last few years, the cost of industrial grade 3D prints dropped significantly, due to more competition in that market. I considered this technology for making a new frame myself. That seemed reasonable since it allows full flexibility in design. Also, most providers calculate the price of such parts loosely based on mass. This seems to be beneficial for frames of glasses since the rather complex shape is not a problem for 3D printers and designing a lightweight frame is beneficial for wearing anyway. That would also allow me to use my still good lenses in the new frame if I decided to shape the frame accordingly. I did consider getting ready-made 3D printed frames. Unfortunately, the market seems to be pretty small still. I just found a few rather, let's say, unconventional designs, along with some I would have liked. But it seems as if those are only available at some selected opticians. Also, most of the suppliers did not even specify pricing on their home pages. That leads me to think that these frames are not cheap either. Therefore, rolling my own frame seemed to be reasonable. So with that plan in mind, we can start creating the design. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on a 3D scanner, which I used to get my lenses scanned. So I had a pretty good starting point for the design. That said, if you attempt to design around already etched lenses, you need to make absolutely sure to maintain the placement and orientation as precise as possible. Guess how I found out about that? But with the lenses as a starting point, we can start with the design of the frame and the temples. So let's see what my admittedly a bit rusted 3D modeling skills can get us. In this case I used Fusion 360 for the design, but basically every CAD program that supports surface design will do the trick. For the first prototype I tried to stick to a simple and timeless design. In order to give myself a little bit of wiggle room with the fit of the lenses, I decided to design in some spring tabs that hold the lenses from one side. With 3D printing it would be possible to design the frame with the hinges of the temples printed in place. So the whole frame, including the temples, would be a single print. Since the idea here is to be able to reprint parts as I break them for cheap, I decided against that. Also, having a separate frame and temples allows for swapping the design of either one of the parts independently later on. With the first design done, we now can start producing hardware prototypes. In order to make sure the basic design works and fits my odd shaped head, I printed the first prototype using my desktop 3D printer. For designs like this, you will need tons of supports. Removing these takes quite a bit of time and does not leave a consistent enough finish for wearing in public. Maybe you could fix that with the application of a lot of sanding paper and elbow grease, but in my opinion that is not really economically viable. It is surely good enough for a first prototype though. The print turned out quite decent for a FTM machine. Even the lenses did fit. They were tight, but I managed to squeeze them in. I also printed two master lenses, in the hope of getting my optician to grind new lenses according to that template. Unfortunately, I was not able to get them made due to a certain virus shutting down pretty much the whole country. Also, I need to check if it's possible at all to use the plastic parts as master lenses in commercial etching machines. If someone has insight in that, please let me know. 
The result of the first print assured me to get a prototype printed on an industrial machine. Since the company I work for operates an industrial HP 3D printer, I got it made there. The quality of parts you can achieve with this printer is comparable to SLS, which is selective laser sintering. The HP unit uses a special laserless process for fusing the layers together though. Laser sintering would be a strong option for manufacturing these kinds of designs as well. Aesthetically, these parts looked a lot more pleasing than our FTM print. Unfortunately, when I tried to insert the second lens, I split the frame right in two. It looked like the etching of these two lenses are not exactly mirror contours, since one did fit quite well and the other one did not. Time for another revision. Opening up the lens cutouts a little bit fixed those problems. Fortunately, I just had to get the frame itself remade. I'm pretty pleased with the results though. What do you think? Since I'm now set for life with glasses, I'm wondering if there is a market for frames like these out there. I could imagine having a little webshop where you could configure your own glasses in terms of types of mainframe, tempos and the color of each component. Ideally, it would be possible to offer that package for a significantly cheaper price than you would pay conventionally. The production process would also allow for cheap replacement parts and one-offs since there is no tooling cost involved. In my opinion, it would be great to be able to offer glasses complete with prescription lenses. But unfortunately, I was not able to find a company to deliver decent quality lenses, which are ground and etched to specific 3D contour for a reasonable price. If you know of any company that is capable to do that, please let me know. If somebody can point me to a company I can reach a deal with, I ship a new frame with master lenses like shown before to the one that suggested the company first. Also, let me know if you would be interested in getting one of these frames. If there is sufficient interest, I will make something work to get the things to market. Maybe we could make a crowdfunder that actually comes to market. Thanks for watching.